Alright. First and foremost, giving all praises and all glory to the most high. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Bashem Makakodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders that do we well at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to your Akim out there pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. Shall warm to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Come now with a session today entitled Run Not Your Heart. Alright, for some reason, these niggas and these Christians out here continue to say render not your heart and all sorts of bullshit. You know, um, one of these jigs, two three jigs, say that a hey, woman could wear pants, women could do what they want basically. You ain't gotta keep no law. You are the Render, give up your heart, right, and not your garment. So she said that instead of instead of um, put your dress in modestly, once you're inside modest, you're good to go. And that is when these retards don't understand what faith, the definition of faith is, and the definition of works is, or the definition of the precept itself. You understand? And before I even get into the definitions, whatever, the quick answer, rend your heart means to repent. Rend your heart means to repent. You understand? It's simple as that. Now start. Joel 2 and 12. Therefore also now say the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the lord your power for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and repented him of the evil there we look up the definition of the word um, rend rend means to tear to tear in pieces to tear away to tear out right Make wide or large of eyes, da da da, baby. To tear out, to cut out, right? So what you doing? You tearing out, and you cut. No, before I even bring out that, the reason why the Lord said to rend your heart and not your garment is because that was a, a ancient practice. You understand? Somebody was in, in a state of mourning, or whatever the case is, you would rip your clothes right you should see, you see it in these movies and think they could shout out blasphemy or whatever and they'll rip their clothes and stuff like that you understand shave their heads shave their beards right but the lord is telling them to not rent your clothes but to rent to tear your heart let me find out where's the heart <coughs> your inner man your mind, your will, your heart, your soul, your understanding, your understanding. A and A4, your mind, knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory. Um, six, conscience. Seven, heart of moral character. Right? A seat of emotions and passions, a seat of courage. Right? So your heart is referring to your mind, your inner man. Right? You, you understand? The Lord is telling you to tear, to cut out your heart, right? To cut out your inner man, to cut out your thinking, you understand? To cut out your understanding and not your garment and turn unto the Lord your power. So what is that showing you? It means that we have to cut out our wicked way of thinking cut out all the, abomin uh, the abominable things that proceed out of our spirits you understand to cut out all the doctrines and wicked philosophies that we were taught to cut out all these things to cut out all the sin tear away all that wickedness and turn back unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai our power you understand? 
the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. When the scripture say to trust in the Lord with all thine heart, we think it referring to in a man, mind, will, heart, understanding. To trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Heart is just another word for your mind, for your inner man, for your inner thinking. You understand? For your conscience. Right? If you rend your heart, you understand? And turn unto the Lord. It means to repent. That, what, that is what repenting is. The washing away of sins. You understand? You rending your heart mm -hmm. is you cutting out, you ripping out all the uncleanness, ripping out all the sin. As I say, all the philosophies and doctrines, all the wicked um, what, what is word? practices, all the wicked practices that you used to do, all the holidays you used to celebrate. The way you used to dress, the things you used to say, you understand? All your different beliefs, you understand? You're cutting that, you're pulling that out, and then you're turning unto the Lord. You're trusting in the Lord with all your heart, you understand? You get the book of Romans chapter 6, verse 6, you know what I might bring out a part 2 to this. It says, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin, for he that is dead is free from sin. Now I ask you this, did we die and come back to life? No, we did. you and I, when we get this truth, didn't die physically. You understand? What died? The man, the inner workings, the conscience, the wicked conscience, the wicked thoughts that existed within us was put to death. You understand? Yahweh Shai, he came and died for what? Our sins. So our sins are crucified with him because he died for us, for us to give us repentance. He saw everything tying in. You understand? So that way it means to rend your heart. It just means to repent. You understand? For he that is dead is freed from sin. So you and I didn't die when we came into this truth. The inner man died. And the new man filled his place. You understand? The book of Acts chapter 22 and verse 16 And now why tarries thou arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins calling on the name of the Lord I want to look up um, baptize to dip repeatedly to immerse to submerge to cleanse by dipping or submerging to wash to make clean with water to wash oneself be to overwhelm right now could physical water wash our basin the scriptures talk about that and the answer is no so what is the water that going to wash our sins away are we going to be continually dipped in this water, being submerged in this water? What is the water? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This truth. That why the scriptures say to lead not unto thine own understanding. Because this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the only thing that could wash you from your sins. And there's nothing that you could come up with out of the, the imaginations of your mind that could wash away sin. You understand? Arise and be baptized, be washed, be cleansed, right? Repent. That's all it means. 
And I just show you that go lean out onto thine own understanding. These niggas read that they continue to say render. You ask them about the scripture. They continue to say render. Why do they continue to say render? Because they don't even read anything for this damn self. They just listen to what the pastor say. Pastor say render, so it's render. They don't do any research. You understand? The word is ren, which means to tear or to cut out. Your heart, which is the inner man, your conscience. To I'll say that again. To rend your heart means to cut out and 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 tear. You understand? Your wicked conscience, your wicked thoughts, your wicked inner man. You understand? Which ultimately means to repent and turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yoshai. Matthew chapter 3 verse 2 and saying repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand the Lord coming back to render everybody according to his works the Lord coming back you understand <clears throat> to give everybody a reward you niggas that think that you could do what you want to do and receive salvation your reward going to be death you understand you come up with all these different excuses as to why, as to, to justify why you could do as you please and still, you know, receive salvation. It don't work on, on your terms, it's on the terms of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And if the Lord say, if you are enter into the kingdom, you have, the, you have faith in the Son, you have faith in Him and His Son, believe in Him and His Son. Keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Eat this whole rule, you understand? And live by this book. Be hearers and doers of the word. Bring forth fruits made for repentance. Lose your righteous acts. You understand? And live the way he wants you to live. If die the way to receive salvation, you cannot say otherwise. You are not the most high. You understand? Scripture says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. And the back of that, I'm talking about those that add and take away from the book. You add in, you add into the book. Because the Lord is not there. You understand? Doing what you want and receiving salvation is not in this book. But not according to this word. So what I'm showing you, you only have no light in all them. The book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 8. I'll start at. Now, read it and get to the point. It says, Bring forth, therefore, fruit meet for repentance. Right? So, let me say, it was really render your heart. If you give in your heart, your inner man, right? Your inner man, your conscience, and your Bashem, your Shai. Wouldn't that still mean doing as the Lord say? You understand? Because they're cutting themselves. They're saying, hey, they, they think that faith and works is two different things. But they don't understand that faith without works is dead. And that um, faith is made perfect um, in works. Right? They don't understand that faith and works is one because a righteous tree will bring forth righteous fruit just as a fig tree will bring forth figs a righteous man will do righteous things and a wicked man will do wicked things you understand that is why he say they will call him lord lord and he say i never knew thee you understand there's one thing to say and to listen that a yahweh bashem yo shai but it's one thing to live and pick up your cross as our Lord did and endure just as he did. When the scripture says verse 8 says bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. You need to labor and bring forth fruits. You understand? Meet for repentance. Not meet for for, for what you think the Lord want. Or what you think is acceptable. But how to be meet for repentance. You understand? 
And what are the what are fruits that you will bring forth? All fruits will be based in faith, prayer, fasting, preaching, videos, keeping the laws, such as and commandments, the Sabbath, the holy days, professing the name of the Lord, overcoming adversity, you know, calling on the name of the Lord. Enduring through these times, sticking to this truth and studying and doing all those things is bringing forth fruits, meat for repentance, helping out the brethren if you could, doing whatever you could, you know. All them things, teaching this word, right, living this word, keeping it to the best of your ability, all that is bringing forth fruit, meat for repentance. You understand? You know, and so I care for all babbling in this video, but to clear it up not to clear it up but the main point you know I'll say it again rend your heart is not render your heart rend is tear heart is referring to your spirit your inner man your conscience to rend your heart means to repent it does not mean to say I have faith and have no works to show or to say I believe and have nothing and have done nothing to show that belief to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You understand? When your heart means to repent. And you repent in how? By way of the Holy Spirit. And who gave you the Holy Spirit? Yahweh Shai. And He gave you that chance. Because He came and He died for our sins. The wages of sin is death. Right? But thanks be to Yahweh who gave it us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Right? Yeah, with that, I hope the system was edifying, giving all praises and all glory unto the Most High. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Bakakwadash. Shalom.